them folks. I've walked down from the memorial hut, down part of the route I did last week. Then I got up to a tree there. I didn't know if it was the right way because the pole was lying down. Look. In the end, after studying the booklet again and pacing out 200 yards, or was it meters? It was it might have been meters, but I paid it was 200 meters. It says fork left at a large stone onto a smaller path which crosses the Cumin stream. A blue topped way marker path marks a path. Okay, then here we go. This is the path. Now, when I did one of my diversions, which I didn't record last week, uh, or if I did, I edited it out, but <sighs> this looks like a little bridge actually, doesn't it? But you can't see much of it. It's very covered up. I would say this was the little bridge. <sighs> anyway, I ended up on the other end of this path. And if I'd carried on, I would have got to the destination, which is Lady Ackland's hut. I'd actually got on this path, as you'll see, when I come out the other end. <sighs> but it, if it wasn't easy to find, um, it probably... You know, people might think, oh, well, he's maybe you're left-handed or something, but whatever else they used to say in the past, if you couldn't, you know, you always blamed it on something. But anyway, here I am. So worthy coombe, this is, by the way. I've taken a diversion off it as instructed. And hopefully we'll find this hut. And then that would leave me time to do the castle, hill fort and cross, hopefully, if there aren't any more teething problems, that is. Right now, climb gently up to a T-junction, then turn sharp left up an unsigned path which soon reaches Lady Uckland's hut. This is a splendid place for a rest. It was said that this chalet in the woods was used by Lady Gertrude Uckland to picnic in. She would walk a ride off to church in Southworthy, her servants having brought up the picnic in advance. Right, I'm looking forward to this now. There's another blue capped marker. See, from the distance, it doesn't look blue, it looks grey. I think they should make it brighter. <sighs> You've got to remember, people who've never been here before need to have everything very clearly marked. And they're doing quite a good job. I mean, <sighs> the paths are clear and it does look blue. Right. I mean, last time I came, my main aim was to get to Selworthy Church, um, which is what I achieved. The, uh, these extra bits were basically extra. And um, I've come back because I felt, well, I felt incomplete that I hadn't achieved it all. But I'd already done a massive hike by the time I got to Thelworthy, so to actually do extras was hard that day. Oh, I should soon be there. Yeah, there's the countryside, look. I think Thelworthy Beacon itself comes into view soon. Ah, oh, here we are. Here we are, so close everyone. So close, here it is. 
Lady Gertrude Ackland's hut. <sighs> wow. I'll do a video first. <sighs> In case somebody else comes. <sighs> wow. <sighs> yeah, the track carries on, yeah. Very basic, isn't it? Very basic. I expect she sometimes a year would have better views. Well, at least we've achieved it, haven't we? We've got here. The National Trust. Lady Ackland's hut, erected about 1879 for Gertrude, wife of Sir Charles T.D. Ackland, 12th Baronet. Extensive repair repairs were arranged or carried out in 1954. God, I was only two then. This building is open to all for rest and shelter during the daylight hours. Please leave it as you would wish to find it and take your litter home. So it would have a fireplace in there once that already I can hear people coming. So I need to finish the video before people come. Before people come. People have written their names, I can hear people. So they might have come from a different direction down that track from the hill downwards. Mind your voices do carry. Yes, yeah, so you can imagine in the winter when all the trees have lost their leaves, you'd have a view over to that beacon there. Yeah, somebody's coming. Wow, there you go. I turn off for a minute. This is uh, Lady Ackland's Hut by Sheila on October 2018. Selworthy's down there, Selworthy Coombe that is. Right, over and out. Right then. I'm just going to leave the hut now. I'm going to see where the track leads. I know roughly where I'm going but I'm just going to do it anyway so that um, I know it confirms what I thought was the route. So anyway this gives chance for other people. I've had a good look. It's been um, worth going to have a look. Now we're following a track which I think will come out near to where I thought I was making an error last week when I'd actually found a, a track like this uh, and if I'd carried on, just carried on, um, I would have found the hut, see? I would have found it. But because I was quite tired by then, and um, I didn't really want to do too many diversions, so basically I turned back, thinking I was going on a wild goose chase. Now if I'd had a couple more hours to spare, because I still had a long way to go, don't forget. If I'd had a couple more hours to spare, um, I would have explored and uh, found that beautiful little place back there. Nestled nicely there, isn't it? And just imagine Lady Gertrude Ackland that she had her lunch in there where she could read quietly, reflect. Yeah, I recognise all this now, you know. I recognise this now. I came, I'll tell you how close I was. 
I was just beginning to come through the trees there. This was, this was when I did it the other week. I think I came as far as there. If only I'd carried on. Within two minutes, I would have been at the hut. <sighs> I think I came as far as here. I think I even looked. I got as far as here, right? And then decided to turn back. Now what I'm going to do, I am going to actually go back past the hut now because I've done that route. I know where it comes out. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I recorded it or not. Um, I think I was just having a look. I might have erased it because I was a bit anxious at the time thinking I'd gone wrong. But that's just going to take me out back onto the main track leading up to the memorial hut. So what I'm going to do as part of my exploring I'm going to follow another path to the castle. And there is a more defined one. If I carried on that way, I could fo follow the pink arrows. Um, but uh, I'm going to follow another track. Um, so I'm going to be going back down to a gate near Selworthy and following another route. I'm going to be, instead of carrying up Selworthy Coombe, I will turn left and follow the castle route. That's the aim today, but we'll just go back past the little hut again. Because this is the way I would have approached it last week, without a doubt. People who know it well probably think, oh, how could I make an error? But when you've never been somewhere before, you don't recognise nothing. Not a tree, a stone, nothing. You don't always know that they're blue cat markers. Or you, you don't know everything. And when you're tired, I'd take a, if I'd planned it precisely, with the actual compass and everything, I would have found my way here, no problems. But I would, I'm, like today, I'm just using instinct. A few ghosts lingering in there, I expect. Yeah, I expect so. Right, over and out for a minute.